Hi, I'm Rhett, and welcome to this introductory course on what is testing. Today we're going to talk about the basics of what testing is and how testing can help you in your company. Companies that don't know about testing or that don't do testing are missing out on learning what works for their customers and also what makes them money as a business. In this course, we're going to talk about the basics of what testing is and also the types of changes that you can make as you're testing. In 1975, Pepsi launched a marketing campaign called the Pepsi Challenge. Participants were served two drinks that weren't labeled, and they were asked to decide for themselves which of the drinks they liked better, Coke or Pepsi. While there may be some flaws with only serving a sip of cola, the blind taste test is something that has helped companies determine people's tastes and preferences. This is exactly what digital testing is. You are the researcher, and you're letting your visitors determine what they like better, what are their tastes and preferences for your website. The visitors are blind to your testing, but they will tell you whether or not they like your changes based on their behavior. The neat thing about digital testing is you can include all the visitors that come to your site as part of the sample for your test. Testing allows you to increase the relevance and the effectiveness of your online marketing content, which also allows you to make better and more informed business decisions. So what is testing? At its simplest form, testing is running different experiences against each other to see which of the experiences performs the best. Digital testing can be running an experiment on your website, your mobile app, or even an email. You may have heard of A-B testing. This is where you have an A experience and a B experience, and you pit them together to see which of them will perform better. The A experience is usually the control, and the B experience is your new experience that you're testing, the one that has the variations in it. An experience can be any change made to your website or mobile app. Even though it's called A-B testing, you don't just have to have two experiences. Some people call it A-B-N testing because you really can't have as many experiences as you want. In fact, it's often more strategic to have more than one variation so you can learn more about your site. So what can you change with testing? You can change several pages at once, like your navigation that spans multiple pages of your website, or your checkout process and the way that a visitor flows through that checkout process. Multiple pages can be changed as you're testing. You can also test a single page. For example, you might test one version of your homepage against several other new versions. You can also change a single element on a single page. For example, you might try testing a new version of your hero banner, or you might try testing a new version of your call to action. There really is no limit to the things that you can change. If it's on your website, you can modify it. You can modify backgrounds, images, graphics, text, headlines, copy, messaging, colors, layouts, alignments, size, placement, forms, promotions, pricing, flow, pop-ups, or anything else on your website. Every company should be testing because there's a lot of power in testing. All of us have been to that website where the shopping cart was broken or hard to find, or the link was broken, or the page didn't load properly. And what do we experience when that happens? Frustration, annoyance, disappointment, sadness, anger even. Testing goes beyond fixing the mere functionality of a page. Yes, we want your page to work the right way, but testing is finding out what are the things that delight your customers? What are the things that make you more money? I love testing it and it's exciting because of the clear and tangible way that we can influence our bottom line and make more money with testing. People everywhere are in jobs where they're working all day long and they never see the impact that their efforts have on the bottom line of the company. Well, with testing, you can see that impact. You can run a test and you can see how much extra revenue that your test generated. It's pretty exciting to think that we can make changes to our website that help our customers have a better experience and that also make us more money in the process. Testing is also the most data-driven that a company can be because it takes that giant leap out of the world of correlation into the world of causation. Everyone has heard that correlation isn't causation, but very few people and companies know what that means. Website testing is one of the few places where you can take 100% of your visitors, put them in a controlled environment, and learn what works for them. Before the days of the internet, this kind of testing wouldn't have been possible because there's no way that you could take 100% of your customers and put them in a controlled environment and see how the changes you make influence their behavior. But today, with digital applications, websites, and the technology and tools we have available, we can test every single change that we make on our digital experiences. So if you have visitors coming to your website and you're not optimizing their experience through testing, then you really are leaving money on the table. The reason why is because no designer is good enough to create the perfect display, 
No front end developer is good enough to create the perfect functionality, and no marketer is good enough to create the perfect content that your visitors need. It is our own human imperfections and lack of understanding about our customers who are browsing behind the privacy of their computer screens that makes it so important to be testing. Any company that wants to increase their profits, learn what their customers love, understand who their valuable segments are, and fine tune their marketing and business strategies need to be testing. And if there's any company that isn't focused on these things, that company is truly missing the boat. I hope this brief overview of what testing is and why it's so important has been valuable for you. I hope now that you'll be able to see the importance of testing all the time. Thanks for joining me today. And remember that as you learn the testing theories, you are becoming your own expert. And that's a wrap. <laughs> that's funny. Cut it.